The Real Tape, your weekly real estate news you need to know. Brought to you by Joe Carrick, one of the most accomplished real estate professionals in the United States. Sponsored by Blueprint to Success, high performance real estate coaching. Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Real Tape, the weekly real estate news you need to know. Hi, my name is Joe Carrick, and this week we're going to talk about coming soon. And, you know, we see more and more companies promoting coming soons as much as they are their homes on the market. Now, in my 40 plus years of professional selling real estate, coming soon is a great tool to use. You know, if you have a couple weeks before a home's coming on the market, a lot of times you learn about it two to three weeks beforehand. And definitely, especially now, I mean, back in the years Years ago, all we could do was put up a, a, a sign that said coming soon, and that was the only way to grab any, uh, uh, you know, any pent up interest on it. But now with the internet, we can fully market the home as a coming soon. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's a great tool if you have a home that's not coming on for a couple weeks. But here's the problem. If some companies are promoting it even more like encouraging their agents to put on a coming soon, even though the home might be ready to hit the MLS. And to me, there's a couple issues with that. Number one is I, I can never figure out how that's advantageous to the seller. We have a fiduciary responsibility to fully market the seller's home. And that's why we have to, you know, nowadays have them sign something that says, hey, you know, if I don't put it on the MLS and we get an offer before we hit the MLS, you know, these are the things that you should know. The reason that disclaimer is in there and that disclosure is in there, because in rare cases, it does it benefit the seller to market the home off the market and potentially get an offer before it even hits the MLS. But that's what a lot of companies are doing out there. And I, I, I think I know a couple of the reasons they're doing and we'll share those. But again, don't get me wrong. Coming soon, if the home's not ready, put it on the market. Fully market it. Put it out there on Facebook. I mean, in a lot of cases, while we're getting the home ready to sell, we have two to three weeks and we get three or four potential buyers even before we hit the market. Now, that doesn't take a place once it happens. We put it on the market and then we have that pent up interest. So why would companies really promote and encourage your agents, even though home might be ready to put on the MLS, to not put on the MLS and do a coming soon? Well, there's a couple reasons. One is the fact that, as we talked about a couple weeks ago, we've lost that top of the funnel. We screwed up in the real estate profession. And we used to be at the top of the funnel, but because of politics and egos, and I'm not gonna dive into it, I did a couple weeks ago, we're not at the top of the funnel anymore. Zillow's at the top of the funnel. Open door, you know, uh, Amazon, you know, there's a lot of people fighting to be at the top of the funnel. But who's not at the top of the funnel is real estate professionals. That's why I promote so much in my training that you have to have your own little top of the funnel where you're your own little top of the funnel because you can't compete with the Zillows. So one of the ideas behind it from one of the larger real estate companies is, hey, if there's 100 listings out there and 20 of them are in our coming soon, you know, uh, section, and 80 of them on the MLS, that if someone wanted to see 100% of the listings and they went to Zillow, they would only see 80 of those. But if they came to this company's website, they would see 100 of those. And so the idea is, let's take back that top of the funnel. Let's take back, you know, the, the consumer. And in theory, that might work. But to be honest with you, long term, that's where we run into a slippery slope because I can tell you now there's a couple major companies out there that promote the coming soon. And we're going to end up being like Europe. We better be careful. And that's where we go down the slippery slope. We're going to be like Europe where if you want to find a home in Europe, you have to go to every single real estate company's website because they don't really have the MLS where they put it out there and the buyer brokers like we do, you know, in the United States. And we've got a great system going on. And you listen to the, the leads of a lot of these MLS and the boards and 
they'll tell you that the, the coming soon is is going to kill the real estate market if we're not careful. So if you have, remember, if you have a seller and that home's ready to put on the MLS, you're not doing your fiduciary responsibility to that seller by then putting it on your company's coming soon and not putting it on the MLS. Now, every company should have a robust coming soon you know, platform, but it's meant for those homes that aren't, aren't ready to go on the market yet. And they shouldn't be promoting to their agents to put homes over there instead of the MLS. So again, we got to be careful of that that slippery slope. Uh, and so again, the only thing I would sit there and say: remember who our fiduciary responsibility is. Uh, if it's the right thing for the seller to put it on your coming soon, if the home's not ready, that's great. But to be honest with you, there's no reason if the home's ready to go that it shouldn't go straight to the MLS. Thanks again for tuning in this week. As always, I enjoyed it. Next week, we're going to talk about profitability. And does it even really matter anymore in Wall Street's relationship in our real estate business? As always, have a great week. And always remember to honor the journey.